Pull that rod tip to the front of the boat. Pull your rod tip to the front of the boat. Damn. Joshua here from Florida just hooked up big. The fish got sideways on him and flipped his kayak, but he still got the rod in his hand. Hoo hey, you want to kind of throw your body as far over that as you can. I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. Trophy rooster fish, bro. It's a tuna, we got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. The land of giants. Welcome to Panama! Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Field Trips Panama. It is another beautiful day here in Cambutal, Panama, at Los Buzos Resort. If you've seen any episodes in the series, you know the drill. We got a dozen clients here from around the world, from Holland, California to Florida, I mean, just all over. We're gonna be heading offshore and trying to chase some really big fish from kayaks. Weather's looking perfect right now. There is not much wind. We've got everyone pretty much ready. Today is day one, so uh, today we're gonna be kinda showing the clients the ropes, showing them how we catch bait, showing them the different techniques. We kinda had a little powwow last night, ran them through some of it. But uh, day one's always kind of the hardest. There's a lot to figure out. It is a dynamic fishery, but there are some gigantic fish. We're gonna be going after roosterfish, Kubera snapper, big broomtail grouper. It is billfish season right now. Sailfish and marlin. We got Kevin Bendek. Ready to roll. One of the uh, resident guides here. And yeah, conditions are looking perfect. So we're about to launch all the clients. We'll take them all out one at a time. And uh, we'll get to fishing. See what we can get into today. Where are we going, boy? We going out on the pike. What's a finger boat? Uh, that thing. <laughs> We're going like five miles out. Hey, it's going to be freaking awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> going Woo! on the finger boat today. Long way out. Everybody's got butterflies. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like my first damn structure fire or some <laughs> shit. It's going to be a structure fire because your reel's going to be on fire. Oh, yeah. Man. All right. We'll check back here in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Out there and hang out, we'll be there in a sec. Got a couple turtles here, looks like they are getting it on. They normally look a little more energetic when they do this, but uh, it is that time of year. All right, so we've been fishing out here for maybe five minutes, and Corey here from Florida has got the first fish of the day. Nice African pompano. Those are good to eat, man. We'll keep that. Yeah, boy. Great fish. It's a good start. It is a good start. I'll take it. Was that on the XPS jig? Yep. Yeah, that thing catches everything, man. All right, so this is a blue runner. Yes, sir. This is the candy. Bro. Yes, everything here eats these. Yes, sir. And this is one you don't have to move real fast. So okay. once you let it out some okay. line, yes, you'll sir. just be kind of cruising real slow. Yes, sir. And that's how you kind of get it, about Let's there. It. Sound good? Let's do it, brother. All right. Let out some line. Yep, so yeah, um, so back off on that. Okay. Keep your thumb on it. And now you'll just start pedaling, but watch out because Oscar's letting out line here. Yeah, I know. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn sharp left. So Emily here was just reeling in her diver and something hit it while she was reeling it in. That is a Sierra mackerel. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a jack! It's a jack! It's a big damn jack! Woo! <laughs> oh, whoa! Look at some. That's a big bitch right there. Oh, yeah! Yeah! You kind of hold down on his head. Jesus. And punch it through. Now he's good. So that is the one you don't have to go super fast. Nope, I'm on. Emily's on. Doubled up. We're over here at East Savaka. Emily's got something big on the XPS jig, smoking runs, and I just hooked up on a live bait. I feel it. It's wrapped around rocks. I think it's a Kubera, but I definitely still feel fish. Oh no, I just came free of one rock. Still on, but I'm in other rocks. I can feel them. It's definitely a Kubera, but there's definitely still fish. 
the good God. Ah. Ah. Holy, holy. Oh my God. Oh, that hurt me. That's a Kubera, bro. Rod on the gunnel. Come on, see. It's broke. Oh, I got my wife. Point that bow towards him if you can. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Jim, don't do any backflips. Woo! That's a solid fish. Man, this thing's fighting like crazy. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think it is? Yeah. Don't matter, we're in Panama. Yeah. Look at that. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a leader? All right, fish. Big rooster. Big rooster. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You know how to grab them? Nice. So, Oscar has fished out here before, not with us, but in some other areas. So, this is not his first rodeo. Look at that. Nice work. And there's his first rooster of the day for Oscar here from Holland. Nice. Representing. <laughs> Beautiful fish, man. Woo! Nice work. Hey, All right, we'll get a quick measurement on this gal, and then we'll uh, revive her and let her on her way. Yeah. 46. 46. 46. Nice. Great fish. Beast. <laughs> Great killer job, man. This thing just took me for a run, and now I'm going where it wants me to go. Ugh. Got plenty of time, man. I'll come help you in a second. Just go wide right around them. It'll scare them back this way. He just made a friendly turn. Holy sh! This thing is moving me. All right, come on. Is Corey going up there? Here? Roger that. This is a fish. This is a fish. All right, we got Corey here from Florida. He is hooked up with a good fish on the live bait. Looks uh, pretty sizable. Don't have color. Oh, yeah, we do. What is it? It's a rooster fish for Corey here from Florida. He's got it next to the boat. Oh, baby! Yeah! yeah. Oh. Nice! That's what I came here for. Corey from Florida said he wanted a rooster, and there it is, morning number one. Not a bad start. Yeah, baby! Ha ah, ah. ha! Yeah, buddy! Yeah. What did he say it was? 52! 52. 52. My man! Woo! Woo yes, sir! Oh, I'm taking this home with me. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, brother. Got a bait, I got a bait. Head towards the East End of Baca, I'll hook you up. So that is a blue runner. Alrighty. Yep, close, uh, slow, yep. I don't know what this is, bud. <laughs> Nice, Dan Diaz here from Minnesota. He's got a rooster fish up to the surface on the light rod, the bait rod. So you wanna grab kinda of in his gill plate, kinda of right at the corner of the mouth but in the gill plate, and just lift him up. You know, don't reach crazy in there and get his gills, but just the, kinda of the edge. Look at that! Yeah, on the XPS jig! Woo! So Dan here was actually the first person to pre-order a lightning strike. Right. From our Indiegogo campaign, and now he's out here in Panama with me. And here we are on day one. He's got his first rooster fish in his hands on light tackle. Oh, that's a great fish for this, especially for that rod, bro. Nicely done. Yeah, buddy. 
Dan said all he wanted. Just wanted to make sure he got his rooster. Day one, the pressure is off. It's all gravy from here, bro. Holy moly. My, my, the popper. Popper. Can someone pick up this Mai? Kijk eens even. What a fish. Alright, we got Zach here from California. And he is hooked up here in the morning of day one. Got a hit on the live bait. Had the bait out for two minutes, he said. You gotta run. No color yet. Yeah, he's pulling. Looks decent. Yeah? Nice, it's all he said it's a rooster. Oh yeah! Yep. There you go. There you go, Zach! Yeah! Zagri from California said he wanted a rooster. There he goes. On his lap. Woo! First hour of the morning. Nice work, bro. Yeah, buddy. 43-inch rooster for Zagri here from California. We'll go ahead and revive this fish. Adam's gonna get the hook out, get this girl in the water, revive her, send her on her way. And I got a feeling it won't be too long before uh, someone else gotta run. Big Amber Jack! We got fish for days in the panga right now. We are gonna be in good tonight for sure. One mahi, two mahi. And check out this stud Almaco Jack got by Stefan from the Holland. Look at that, got the Holland flag waving in the background. That's money. Corey here just hooked up with a mahi. So he already got a rooster today. He's not done. Just jumped a nice mahi. I didn't see it, but he did. It's close to the boat. And I just told the other clients to come over here and throw anything they've got. Because where there's one mahi, there is always more. Just take your time, just keep the line tight. They're, they're squirrely, they run all over. Nice, I just gotta look at it. it. Looks decent, man, for sure. Bucket list getting shorter today, huh? Oh, here we go. Got him. Got him, nice dude. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Nice. That is what's up, baby. <laughs> Rooster Mahi, that's a day, bro. Look at that, Mahi for Corey here from Florida. Whoa, beautiful fish, dude. First Mahi, God. They are so pretty, man. You'll see though, very quickly, he'll start like changing colors and then just lose his color and be like kind of silver. All right, watch your legs. Oh, holy shit. He's trying to get out. Don't worry, he won't go back down. He's not having a good day. <laughs> just trying to make you work for it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great fish, bro. Yeah, this ain't big out here. Oh, we ain't. We ain't fishing for bluegills and grandpa's farm pond, you know? <laughs> They're around, man. That second one landed today and we've lost another one. Corey's first mahi, his first rooster fish today. Checking some fish off the bucket list. Nice, man. Got it. Beauty. Thanks for getting me, Rob. Of course. Appreciate that. That's a day, bro. Not a bad start to the trip, huh? No, not bad at all. Mahi roosters, we got a giant Almaco in the boat. Dude, Crazy action today. Pompano. What's that? I was happy with the pompano. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, you got the African pompano too. Was that your first pompano? Yeah. Three first fish today on day one. Woo! And uh, I've never even caught a, a mahi out here after like 11 weeks. This guy spent five <laughs> hours. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just get his work, dude. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. Don't be. <laughs> that is awesome. Second mahi of the day, too, man. They're out here. They're easy fish to lose, man. Like, nice work keeping that on. Thanks, man. They're one of the harder fish to land, in my opinion, because they jump nice. so much. Yeah, dude, when it jumped, I thought I lost. It. Yeah. Woo! Pull that rod tip to the front of the boat. Pull your rod tip to the front of the boat. Damn. Oh man, Joshua here from Florida just hooked up big. The fish got sideways on him. 
and flipped his kayak, but he still got the rod in his hand. Hoo Didn't let go of the rod like a champ. Hey, you want to kind of throw your body as far over that as you can. Get your center of gravity far over. Yeah, perfect. Well executed, brother. Still got the fish, we'll get your stuff. Hey, so while you're fighting him, pull the rod to the front. Even if he goes sideways, pull and it'll swing your whole boat around. Make sense? Hey, man, this is gonna be a good ass story to tell. Oh yeah, dude, that's a good one, bro. Take your time, take your time. Keep the line tight. Man, got pulled over upside down by the fish, held on to the rod, and he is still fighting it, and this fish is uh, sizable. It's rip and drag out. Oh yeah, bro. That is a fish, homie. Kevin Bendek, guide here at Los Buzos, jumped in, immediately helped him get it righted. You're doing great, man. You're doing great. Oh, shit. Yeah, still got rods wow. leashed on. We lost one rod, it looks like. Rooster! Rooster! Yeah! Watch the line. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Oh my god, so look at that! That is a fish, homie! Nice! What a morning, man! What a. Yeah! <laughs> nice, dude! That's a fight you won't forget, I feel like. Pulled him in the water, he's still got the fish on his lap. Nice work. That's a fight to remember right there, bro. <laughs> so Joshua here is new to kayak fishing and he just got thrown in the deep end quite literally. Nice work, dude. I lost all my stuff, I'm pretty sure. No, they they grabbed a lot of it. They grabbed a lot of it. Yeah. Oh my phone stayed in here somehow. Oh man. Oh yeah, welcome to kayak fishing. I'd say that's a hell of a start. Is that your first fish from a kayak? First fish from a kayak. <laughs> that's a pretty good start, I'd say. Wow man. And this Woo! is why I came out here. This is what I wanted. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Got it done. That was awesome, right. man. Both Florida boys got their roosters here on day one. I've only seen that happen one other time. Both times we got the fish in. That's pretty crazy. I gotta get some footage of this freaking beautiful evening. Good lord. Not a bad way to end a great day. Whew, so at the end of the day, the pond gets spotted some Big old tuna busting the surface. They ran out there right at the end of the day. Uh, Oscar got three studs, so we got sashimi for tonight. Man, those are good tuna. How much they weigh? 42. Look at this, Almaco Jack. Call him Bohalo here, and they are great to eat. So in Florida, these things normally are full of worms. They're really not a great eating fish, but here they're delicious. They're a lot like grouper. We can stick that guy up, grill it. Stefan came here from Holland, and day one caught a stud. Big fish. I'm jealous. <laughs> I want one of those. Oh, man. So bad. Where? Oh, that, this is the one he was caught today, but he had another hook here. There's a hook in there? Yeah. He broke someone off? Yeah. So this Sierra got away once. Sierra mackerel, these are great eating fish. That's the lure that caught it today, but there's another hook in his mouth. And it wow. looks like one of the hooks that uh, the locals here use to catch snapper and stuff, and this guy must have bit through their line. Nice, nice bull mahi. Stefan, the same guy that got the the big Almaco Jack, he had a day. It's a great fish. They kind of change colors. They're usually kind of green, blue, yellow when they're alive. And this guy's kind of silver, a little bit of yellow and some purple showing up. Beautiful fish and delicious. That right there is one yellowfin tuna that we will be turning into sashimi. And we got three of these bad boys on day one. We're gonna be eating good this week. Yellowfin tuna is definitely my favorite eating fish out here, but uh, there are a lot of delicious species, including these mahi we caught. Oh yeah, what? Do you? See? Get around there. Pio here, Captain Richard. You got a nice bluefin trevally. I didn't even know that got caught. Man, what a day! Get one on the Wow, I didn't, I, I didn't even know. What a day of variety we got! Like four different species of snapper, mahi, yellowfin tuna, giant almaco jack, big bluefin trevally. Several big Sierra mackerel, uh, five rooster fish were landed. We lost two Kubera snapper. Uh, just insane action. 
on day one, these guys really gotta, kinda got spoiled, I'd say. It's uh, always killer fishing here, but it's not always like this. It ain't always like today. Nowhere in the world is always like today. What a day. Los Buzos, baby, the land of giants. I'd say the highlight of the day was Joshua on his first day kayak fishing, getting flipped by a rooster. Damn near drugged to the bottom of the ocean. He said he was gonna drown before he let go of that rod. I watched him come to the surface, gasping, holding the rod. Got the kayak flipped back over and landed the fish. Super impressive for his first day kayak fishing. I'd say that's uh, getting thrown in the deep end, quite literally. What a day. Oh yeah, African Pompano, man. Can't even keep them all straight. We got Kevin Bendek and Richard Pio cleaning the fish. Gracias, amigo. Spot oh. on, man. Is it good? What's in it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Woo! Is this Everybody peanut sauce? I don't remember what I do. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know why he's still skinny, it's because y'all see all the vegetables and fish Yeah, yeah. Yellowfin tuna sashimi. Ooh. You know wasabi? Nah. I, I like the taste wasabi. of fish. I do that wasabi sandwich. You better keep your camera on. Yeah, if you don't eat fish, like raw fish is kind of a jumping in the deep end. Dude, it's so good. Do it, do it right. True. This is, I mean, to me, this is Woo! my favorite. It's good. Wait, oh. good. Ha. You like the Oh, shit, my knees. Oh, man. Hey, why, why mm. you got the chest of the sashimi eating? So good. Yeah. 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 Quit talking. Sashimi! <laughs> Quit trying to be like me, man. Kevin, always trying to steal the show. <laughs> what is this? Um, Sriracha and soy glazed amber. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Jack. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Bohalo. It's a really good fish. We catch them in Florida and they're, they're not good to eat there. They all have worms. Ew. I don't know. I think it's something to do with like the reef. Oh, good thing, thing I broiled these for extra long in case they're full of parasites. No, not here, not here. <laughs> it's something different. I don't know if it's colder water or... I thought I meant three in a row. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was three different... Like, it was three different fish. Clearly three different fish. Could have been. We see a lot of them this time of year, so... Yeah. The dinner is ready! <laughs> Very good. I don't even care. It's wow. delicious. You really know what you're doing. This she is. does. <laughs> She's a professional. Wow. He is the best. Her lunch is alone a world class. Yeah. Oh Eating good. I'm thinking we'll launch like 9 o'clock tomorrow and then we'll fish until like Sunday. Oh and I'll launch my. at 7. Man, I've never had Alma Holy. <laughs> Oh, I saw a cell phone. Oh, 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 oh